Welcome back to Betty's channel. She's doing the do on number two. <laughs> Betty two, number two. Anyway, uh, we're back on with uh, the cladding and a bit more woodwork. So please give us a thumbs up, give us a like, give us a subscribe, drop a comment down below, tell us what you think you're doing. Let's uh, crack on with Betty too. Been to being cute and bought some more cladding, so I'm just going to finish off up to the top of here. I'm at last piece now. And the rain started, so I can't cut any wood outside. Bugger. But, I'm glad I put the uh, carpet down. Because I don't want to traipse in and out with the uh, wet crocs. Making a mess of the new floor. Top tip! Right, that's all that's well done. All cladded. Uh, it's still raining a bit, so I, can, I was going to do the carpet, but I can't at the minute. So... I'm just going to put another piece of batten across there to um, that rib that goes over the top. I'm going to throw a bit of jiggery pokery there and shaping it. And then I can think about doing some uh, battens on the, on the roof ribs. I'm definitely going to be putting cupboards, I think, now. Utilizing. I don't want to waste that space, so I've put some little shallow cupboards in all the way along to the cab. That should give us a lot of storage space, and then I can put a few, probably deeper cupboards, sort of deeper cupboards that come out on this side um, for more storage space. So yeah, it's going to be lots of cupboards, and then I can start thinking about um, the kitchen and where, that, where that's going, and the seating. Mm. Anyway, good news. Good news. Uh, I've ordered two roof bars, which are going to support the solar panels. And I think I can probably just about get another solar panel. Um, should be able to. And then I can put the two solar panels on the roof, drill through the roof for the wires, and wire them up to the solar controllers, and then probably wire them to... Well, that's me. And then probably just wire them into battery so the battery's being charged and I've got some power in the back. But yeah, it's all coming together very, uh, very slowly. But it's all good. I have ordered another uh, amber beacon light for the front. It's, just, it's a shallower one because that one's quite tall, so that's coming. And I'm going to wire it definitely to the ledger battery, fire fuse box obviously, and then run a wire over the over the cabin down the dales to that switch there just say so i'm trying to find another uh life for it i mean if i can find if i can find another life i will do because i know there's a wire behind the glove box that i've um sort of capped off but i didn't i'd, I'd not check whether it's live or not or whether, it, or it's, whether it's ignition but if i can find that live that's ignition fed I can feed it to that switch because the wiring's already here for from that switch. So yeah. Anyway, so it's either laser battery, fire fuse box, or utilising existing wiring behind there. But we'll see. But whichever, there's just gonna be one there's gonna be one beacon. Um and the other that wiring there that's sticking out. That was for the back beacon, but I might think of it putting something else. I did think of something before. But I can't remember what it was. Um, but yeah, yeah, because I need to do something with with that. The <coughs> excuse me, I may put another light in. I don't know another beacon, but I can only get one from the one that I can only get one of the same type. Um, off eBay. So anyway, we'll level that when it comes because there's no rush through this back corner yet. These lights that were on the side um, that are knackered. I've ordered four amber lights, they're only seven quid for four, which isn't bad. And they're the same size as them as them lights, so they'll, they'll come out, new ones will go in, wired up to the side lights, so when the side lights come on, there'll be four amber lights, two on either side. So it's coming together slowly, I'm getting there. Still lots more to do. Uh, I said I was going to put a baton across there, didn't I? But I might have a look at filling that first. No, I won't. I'll put a baton over there. Magpie syndrome!
I got my car syndrome. Just screwing some battens to the ceiling ribs to take the um, cladding, the roof cladding. But the roof cladding isn't going to be as wide as the ribs because I'm going to have cupboards coming into the van. So I shouldn't use that much cladding on it. But it gives the cladding something to screw to. So I've done two. I've got another three to go. I'm going to put one on the back edge as well. Right, I've got five battens on now. This back one were a nightmare. Broke three drills trying to get screws in. But it's pretty solid now. So I'll just uh, show you what I've got planned next. Next job is to build um, some framework off and cross members that sort of come down to the and make little cupboards that'll go all the way along. I can attach the uprights to cross members all the way along up to here to the um, and then I'll put some battening around that because that's good. That's going to be a big cupboard anyway. That shelf. So yeah, we're getting there. Happy days. Yay, roof bars have arrived from Vanguard Accessories in Devon. Well, I ordered them a day, two, day ago, I think, came today. So that's good. So I can get them mounted on the roof and get the solar panels mounted to them. Yay. Right, before I do any more woodwork in Betty 2, I need to get some carpeting done. At least around the slide door and the back doors. I might even do the back doors as well while I'm at him. I have a carpet in there. But we'll see. But yeah, need to get some done. It's that four way stretch stuff that I used on Betty 2. Betty was born, I mean, not Betty 2. So I've got a lot left over. So yeah, might as well utilise it. Sorted. When you get Betty 1 jammed into Betty 2, for fuck's sake. Done it. Last I'm done it with my crocs. Yay. Amber side lines have come and for some reason they've sent me two lots. There should just be eight, there should be two in a box, there should be just four boxes. Well there's eight boxes. Oh well, I found them somewhere. <laughs> right, got my amber side lights. Yellow black wire. So I'm just going to connect them up to that wire there and see if the side lights work. Right, that's why I didn't know. So I should go and switch on the uh, side lights and see if it works. And if it does, I can uh, do some wiring inside today. Because it's raining. And there we go. They work. They're a bit subtle. They're not that bright, which is good. Um, so now I can lay some wiring from there across the ribs to that side, ready to drill the holes. So them two lights on that side. Uh, I can't do it. It's, it's spitting today, so I'm not going to get up on ladders and um, get wet. So yeah, for the minute, it works. Sorted. And then I've got another eight. Well, I'm only using four. So I've got 16 to go, because they sent me double the amount for some reason. Anyway, yeah. Pleased about that, that I sorted that uh, fuse out, and after investigation, found out what it was. Happy days! Eee. Right, just starting to feed the wires through the rib down for the side lights. That'll come out uh, there eventually. Now you can use some, um, I'll show you actually, this stuff. It does protect the, well it can protect the wires from chafing inside the van, but if you're careful and your cable tie it up, it shouldn't move. Because this is a ball there to get the wiring through. In fact, I'll show you, I'll have a go and I'll show you. It's probably better if you use this stuff, just to keep uh, the wire protected from the van body. So I just fed it through all that, and I'm just going to feed it through that rib. You can do it to, you know, you can panel pin it to the wood on the other side if you want, which is not a problem, but I just prefer it to be hidden away. Not, you're not going to see it anyway, so the fact that it's, it's hidden away doesn't really matter. Do you know what I mean? Jean. 
And that's what happens if you don't tape the end up, the fucker falls out. <laughs> tape the end now so it's not going to slide back out. Bugger. I mean, it's a bugger. Not bugger as in it didn't work, oh, never mind. I'll get me caught. Right, that's that way through for the side lights. And I'm going to do then is put a block connector on that so a wire will go to that light and then across here to that light. Oh no, sorry. To that light. It goes here. So yeah, that should work quite nicely. And then obviously there's going to be a wire from the block connector to that one and then to that one. Good stuff, and it stopped raining, so I might be able to do them today. Just measured the centre of that old light from that swage line and that rib. X marks a spot. Same with that one. X marks a spot. So I can drill them in a bit. Now it stopped raining, so I'm going to get the ladders up against the side of the van, take these out, put the new ones in with a bit of Sikaflex. Yay! I might not even screw them in, it's my sickle flex into it man. Drill them afterwards. Happy days. Right, got my screwdriver ready. Just gonna undo the screws on this. But while I'm up ladders, and I don't like eyes, you all know this. I'll check the roof. That's sickle flex I put in on day one for stop the rain coming in. That uh, vent's gonna get removed. Got a new beacon light coming for that. Roof's not in bad nick. So, once I've done these lights on both sides, I could probably paint the roof before I put the uh, um, roof bars on and the solar panels. So I might just order some NATO green paint to paint the roof. Then that's done with then, don't have to worry about it. On the sloping bit, uh, down to the windscreen, I've got a bit of rubbing down and a bit of red oxiding to do, so I might just do that. Uh, I might just paint the top of the roof rather than the sloping bit, but we'll see. Anyway, let's crack on. Well, that came off alright. Just need to do a bit of cleaning up, a bit of sicker flex on it. Put a new one in. Boom! Right, just took a bit of sicker flex around it. So I'm going to stick it on, let that set, and then I'm going to um, put the screws in. But it is going to hold it. And I've tested that they work, because they do. So I call. I will stick a flex deal, it's the best thing in the world, but it's a bastard to get off. I put too much on. More wet wipes. A bit over the top, I know, to make this lamp level, but that spirit level is not level. The bubble's miles out, so. Bin that. Put it over there. Tape measure. Six and three-eighths from the gutter line. Six and three-eighths from the gutter line. Spot on. Said before, van building, there's a line on van building, you don't like exact signs, you can't use the spirit level at all. <laughs> right, that's the first one in. That probably took nearly half an hour and it shouldn't have done. So, lessons learned for number one, for number two, three and four. Don't stick a flex it before you find that the screw holes fit. Uh, fix it first, take it apart, stick a flex it, bolt it on, clean it off. Top tip there, Paul. Only another three to go. Good thing about these uh, little lamps, though, which is, I didn't think you'd, you'd get, you get these little nuts and bolts with them. So you can instead of screwing them to the metal, you bolt them. But because I'm uh, doing this today single handed, I've not got long enough arms to wrap around the door to hold a screwdriver and a spanner to tighten the nuts and bolts up. So, simple tip. Mole grips, they're only small bolts, so there's not much weight to them. Get a pair of mole grips, uh, clamp them to the nuts, and then you can screw it from outside. Top tip. Second solar panel's arrived now. Cracking on with it. Right, well they're not working, and it's blown the fuse. So, I'm going to have to put a different fuse and see if that works. Right, I think I know what the problem was when it came blowing the fuse. That wire, the black wire that I brought over the top, they were the two uh, positive and negative were touching each other, so that's why it was blowing. So, so what I've done is I've just uh, I've tested it without this light, and the 
the two new ones work and the side lights are working and that pair is also now feeding this side so I want to wire in the second light and see if that dims or it can handle it but it's working I'll just show you the others that's on that one's on it's not blown the side lights because the side lights are on so that's good right then two now working so I can wire them in now problem is they're all wired into the right hand side light now um, so really I should have this side, the left hand side I should have wired into the left hand of the fuse box left hand side but it's too complicated I could find the wire in the light there if it all fails but we'll wire it up uh, we'll drill it and put them in and see what happens yay right picked up the caravan doors from uh, Cole near Burnley got 13 doors two glass that's a little storage cupboard door it's a big wardrobe door there and all these other doors and I blagged um, six drawers caravan has been scrapped anyway it was 40 quid just for the um, doors and he chucked the uh, six drawers in for another ten and so for 50 quid I've got the start of the storage units in Betty too Yee! Just sort of check my side lights out as if I'm going dark. Look at them bad boys. Happy days. Impressed with them. And I'm not blowing a fuse. <laughs> See what I did then. Let's check the brightness of the back. Look at that, it's like black pill illuminations. Happy days. Yay. Thanks for watching this episode of uh, Betty 2's uh, build. Uh, please give us a thumbs up, give us a like, drop us a comment down below, tell us how we're doing. But please subscribe to us and overall keep doing what are you doing?